what's up guys welcome back to my channel uh on the earlier video i showed you guys how to check the front end it's making a noise so pretty much the tie rod and the ball joint gotta go and this is a 2013 hyundai tucson if you have the similar vehicle how to replace the ball joint and a tie rod this is going to be a good video for you i'm going to show you the part number and process how to do it so first of all, what you want to do is make sure you, you have your tire nice and straight that way we're going to try to keep your alignment as perfect as possible okay so let's start off by taking off this wheel it's a 21 millimeter that's off let's take a look at what we're gonna be doing down here okay so to start off we're gonna take off this cotter pin you can use uh, something such as a cutter or a needle nose a lot of times these cutters won't come out but if they don't come out you just break them and then put your socket on that and rip it um, I got a feeling that this one is not gonna come out so easy so if it doesn't come out, I would just try to cut it to the edge where the socket can go on from both sides. And then the, once you spin this, it will eat that little cotter pin. So we're going to start off by just taking this off first. So that is out of the way. And then we're going to loosen up the bolt right here on the tie rod because later on you're not going to be able to tie it unloosen this. Sometimes this is jammed internally so you can't even take that off. But right now, this is the play we have. See that? And then also we're gonna change the ball joint. But once we take this off, you'll be able to maneuver this uh, spindle around and we have a better chance of changing that ball joint easier. So let me go get a adjustable wrench for that. Okay, so I'm underneath this vehicle. So to turn this little guy, I don't know why they have this little guy right there, but we're gonna just, that's okay. So if you're looking from the back end of here, you have to turn counterclockwise. But if you're looking from this way, if you look at counterclockwise, that will be tightening. So this way is loosening and Let's adjust this wrench. To, so we can grab on this guy. It's gonna have a little bit of movement like that. That's okay. And then, there you go. Just give it a little bit looseness to it. So that's done. Let me come out. Now we're gonna pop this guy open. So this is a 17 millimeter right here. Let's take this guy. guy comes off and now we're gonna bang right here with the hammer bang 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 and the tie rod should just fall down and then we're gonna turn the threads so we don't lose our alignment and if we take off 10 threads we're gonna put on 10 threads but most likely if the length of this tie rod is the same on the new one you shouldn't have any issues okay I had to back up a little bit so I could get a good angle to smack that guy I still might not have a good angle but There you go. So what that does is it vibrates it and bam, it comes right off. So now, you see this? We're able to move the spindle around as much as we want. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. So I just scraped that number on the floor so I don't forget. There's the problem. Anyways, let's throw this to the side. Now we're going to go down below and we're going to remove the bolts here. So we're going to start to take out the bolt joint next. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take off this guy right here and then we're gonna put a, uh, the slot here we're gonna put a pry bar to open it a little bit and we should be able to push this ball joint out but we also need to take off the 17 here 17 here and there's a 17 right there so let me gather some tools okay boys and girls I went and got me this long uh, wrench here so 17 millimeter 
These are gonna be tough. Don't think these are gonna be easy. There you go. Little bit loose. Okay, there you go. Now I'm able to use the gear wrench side and just turn, turn. Like Wheel of Fortune, turn, turn. So I do want to do this both first because once I'm losing the two in the bottom, it's going to be more difficult. Oops. Everything is shaking. so I can do long turns. I'm sorry about that light. That light is a killer. Let me see if I can put it this way. There you go. It's better. Save this guy. Next step, we're going to get our impact gun. We're going to bang this out. And there's two bolts down here. Nuts. And bang this out. So. Take this little guy. Bang. Bang. And then we got this little guy. Oh, big mistake. I wasn't even looking on the opposite side. You're on the opposite side, you have a nut and you have a cotter pin. Oh. All right, uh, that's my apologies. So let's go on this side. I'm gonna go get the other light. I know it's gonna blind the camera. So there we have it. I cannot, I thought it was gonna be easy, but no. You got a cotter pin over here, which doesn't look so bad. There goes the old tie rod. So this cotter pin should be easy to take out. Very easy. Now what I can do is put a 17 here and a wrench on the opposite side. That should just bang it right out. Very easy. And you might have to put a wrench on the other side so it just doesn't spin. Even though I had this loose, on the opposite side. Yeah, that's a little good mechanism, no worries. That's even better, I like this system. Sometimes it's, this is crushing it, and uh, this is good, not on the other side. Next, we're gonna get any raggedy little screwdriver. Try not to, uh, you can hit it. You can hit it, but if you, if you don't have that little angle right there, try not to hit it, because you'll damage the threads. Once it goes through, just take your raggedy little screwdriver that you want to hammer and the bolt falls right out. And now, if I hit this with the hammer, it should slowly just come right out. And uh, then we got my hammer. Sometimes it won't come out. You see the little groove right here? You can put a pry bar in there. So let me show you how to do that. You take this little pry bar and you just hammer it right there. Sometimes you won't have a good angle like me. I, I don't have a good angle. So you can even go from up top, facing straight upward. Oh, my light fell down. Sorry about that. It's magnetized light. So what that's gonna do is gonna open up the gap right there. And sometimes I'm able to Just do that with the, another pry bar. This is just another longer pry bar. That's all I'm doing here.
kit should be coming out any moment. He's gonna have to uh, give it some bangs. Woo! Okay, okay. I think these studs are jammed. Alright, I'm gonna have to put the camera a little bit to the side, so I'm gonna try to open this a little bit more. Okay, let me update you. Yeah, I put these little nuts on it. I don't want the threads to come out through the bottom. And these are studs. Ooh, I've never seen system like that. These are studded in, so you're gonna have to tap these and then they come right out. They're like a little stud that compresses into this little guy. So, pretty much, now we should be, okay, let's take off the two nuts, come on, really, first and after that you're gonna have to work some magic with this guy so maybe a screwdriver from up top maybe not Let's move up our camera a little bit back Coming down. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. So there's the ball joint is out. Now we're gonna wait for the new pieces. There's the tie rod moog. That's the brand we're using. Right and left is different, so make sure you get it correct. There's our ball joint part number moog. So let's see what's inside the box. Inside the box, you're gonna have ball joint. Should be a small little package. There you go. Comes with the thread lock. And there's gonna be a small fitting goes in the bottom. And in this box, we have our tie rod with a small little package with the nuts in the fitting so that's everything okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this ball joint and we're gonna stick it into the housing make sure the housing is nice and clean and uh, you don't want to go crazy with the hammer on this guy so I would you I would tap it softly so let me show you the whole ball joint see that little groove right there that little notch right there your bolt your bolt is gonna be pretty much right through. So make sure you just get enough in there so this thing can go right through. Otherwise, it's not even gonna go through. And you might have to tap the bolt from the other side. Once it's in, it's not coming out, okay? But I do not wanna lock out the nut on this guy because what I wanna do here is I do wanna line everything on this little guy. So it might be a little bit of tricky here. Things might get tricky here. So once you have it in position, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the two nuts on this guy. But once everything is aligned, that's the only time it's gonna accept your know, nuts from the bottom. So if you have, if you can catch one, that will help you out. I'm gonna have to maneuver this guy around a lot before I capture 
the studs. There you go. So once you catch one, you should be able to tighten that one. And the second one should just come along pretty easy. See that? The second one just comes along. Let's take our second nut, put this guy in. Also, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put this guy in, catch the threads. So we might not be able to catch the threads on that guy, unless we smack this little guy. There you go. So the top one has a line. So before I tighten this guy up, I do want to tighten this guy. So I do not have torque spec, so you want to tighten this, all three, to best of your ability. So I am going to take my impact gun. Make sure the stud goes right through. Bada bing, bada boom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just tighten the crap out of this guy right here. Don't snap it all. So, what we got in the package is a little bit of thread lock, uh, which I don't think uh, I am gonna use. But we are do have to put this fitting on, and it does not come with the cotter pin, and it does not come with the new bolt for this little guy. So make sure you put this little guy back in, and catch the threads. Once you catch the threads, we're gonna put a wrench on the other side and we're gonna put an impact on this side. Nice and tight. Okay, you wanna squeeze the opening here so the ball joint should not move. So as you can see, no plate whatsoever. And then the last thing we got is the fitting over here. It has grease in it, so this is pre-greased. So what you wanna do is put this little guy on. And it's a number 10. So simply, let's tighten this fitting up. This is a grease fitting, so every Two, three oil changes, you should grease the ball joints up. So that's done, all right, so let's go over to the other side. So all we have to do is put on our tie rod. Sorry about the camera movement. So there it is. So our tie rod. So what we're gonna do is if you like, you could change this bolt, but I do not like to move those bolts, and uh, you don't have to, but when you do change the inner tie rod, you should change it. So again, you take your tie rod, the old one, and match it up. See, it says L on it, so you know it's left side. So when you're done, this should be sitting in that position. So remember, 14. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. It's nearly right to it. Okay, and I would recommend you get alignment. This is I do this so the car walks out of here perfectly straight. So we do have a new bag. Let's see if there's any. So this comes with the cotter pin. We do have a cotter pin for this guy. We still have to put cotter pin on the other guy. So this goes in right there. Whoops. So we do have a cotter pin and we have this fitting in the bottom. This is number eight now, so we have to go get a number eight. But before we forget anything, let's tighten this guy up. So with this, I also like to tighten this the best of my ability, but you don't want to go crazy. And you might have to turn a little bit extra so the cotter pin can go right through. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more. There you go. And then all you do is bend the cotter pin, fold the cotter pin, don't hurt yourself, get something, and bend this guy. Okay, there you go. And the last thing, we have to put our fitting over here. I am gonna tighten that. Do not forget to tighten lock this up, okay? So all you do is, let me find my adjustable wrench. Where did I put my adjustable wrench? Oh, right back to me. So all I do is take this adjustable wrench and I just turn it. Okay, I'm having a problem. The tie rod itself is turning. So I might have to hold that up. But it will lock itself up once it comes to the point. And that's it. I would recommend you get alignment. Make sure you tighten this up. Make sure you put a cotter pin on the other bolt for the ball joint. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And now we should not have any movement here at all. Okay, thank you and bye bye.